Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you tab bars one. This is a menu spec that we just released and I'm going to show you how it works and how you can customize it. It's really pretty easy. We made it as simple as possible. So let's get started. I have a simple project. It only has those installed because you need it. And I'm just going to import the, the package. And after I've imported a package inside the Z, it won't automatically update the UI menu. So as you can see, I do not have the, the new options here. In order to add them, I just go to Tools, do Z, Refresh, and I refresh the UI menu. Basically, it will search uh, your entire project and add the new UI menu items to the database. So now, if I go to the UI menu, I have a new option, Menus. And of course, this is tab bars one. And here we assembled uh, the six menus for you already assembled and an example of a, uh, of a, of a, of a uh, tab button. And this is how they work. These are the animated previews. All right. So let me show you where it is installed. It's under doozy menus tab bars one. And here I'm going to show you, let's see the first menu. Let's enter play mode just so you can see them in action. It's pretty basic. And here you can change the colors, you can change the animation, you can change the, the text, All right? These are just how we assemble them. So we made it as easy as possible. Let's see the second one, all right? Again, you can change whatever you want. Okay, the third one, enter play mode, there you go. The fourth, this just shows the, the label of the currently active um, menu item. The fifth, and finally the sixth uh, item. This one is a bit more delicate because it's a, a play on colors. Uh, I think I can show you through if I show the scene. So check out how the color appears from the left, like a swipe, and this appears to the right. So look here. Yeah. So again, look here. It appears from left to right and disappears from right to left. And these are the, the six menus. And I'm going to show you how they work. Let's go with example number hmm, two, let's say. Yeah, this is nice enough. So how does it work? Well, we are, we're shown here. So we have our menu. Uh, this, of course, is uh, the, the prefab. And these are the, the tabs. So basically, these are UI tabs. The UI tab is a UI toggle that is able to control a UI container or UI view. So this is why we have here a toggle group that uh, whenever you, you turn on, you, you, you set is on true for one UI toggle, all the others will be turned off. So this is the UI toggle that helps you have only one active at any given point in time. If this is the, the layout you're looking for, so one toggle on enforced. And of course, each, uh, each button, for example, this one, this home button, has, of course, this is hidden, you cannot see it, has this UI container connected. So it's all drag and drop. So if you want to add one more, I'm just going to do that right now. So let's create one more. Let's say after chats, let's add profile, for example. All right. So here I'm going to rename this. I'm going to say profile. Let's just remove the prefab. Unpack completely and let's unpack this. Okay, so I have this button chats. I'm gonna I'm gonna change the icon. Let's change it to I think user is the icon for for this. Do we have it? So user. 
Now I'm just going to use one more so we use our Come on, give me an icon. Oh, there you go. User. There you go. So I'm going to use this one, for example. And here I'm going to say label profile. Okay. As you can see, it uh, already adjusts because it was properly set up with uh, horizontal with horizontal layout group. And of course, all the proper things like uh, a content size fitter and proper spacings and so on. So it's already designed for you, already pre-animated. You don't have just duplicate, change a few things and it's done. All right, so now let's also change the color. What color shall we use? Uh, do we have a red? Let's go with a, an orange color, for example. Let's go a bit orangey, something like that. Yeah, all right, so this is the color I'm gonna use. So I've changed this, let's change the background, same color, let's change the label, same color. Now, all we need for this, we need a, a UI container. So again, I'm gonna duplicate, let's say these settings, I'm gonna say profile. So it's this one. I'm gonna change the background color to my orange color, just so we know we're in the profile. And all we have to do is connect this uh, profile UI container to our UI tab. And we do that with a simple drag and drop. So we have our toggle group and our target container. That's it, all right? This is all live, not edited. So, and now we have our profile container. So it's that easy to, to use. Another way of adding a new button for example, let's do it on example number four. I don't even know which one this is. All right, so we have this one, right? Let's add a profile here as well, for example. So another way to do it is to, to use our, uh, our um, UI menu, all right? So let's say I wanna add one more button here. I'm gonna remove the prefab, I'm unpack actually. So let's unpack this prefab and I'm gonna open my UI menu. This is number four, right? I just want to have the same design. So is this one? So I need to have my menu selected. Let's inject our button. If you do not want to duplicate. And this is our new, uh, new button. Let's set an icon. Any icon will do. Let's say, uh, yeah, these glasses, something bigger maybe. Alien, yeah, let's use this. Let's change the label to my special label. All right, as you can see, it already adjusted. The animation will adjust, so you don't have to do anything, just uh, customize it to your liking, all right? And like I said before, we need a, um, a UI container. So what we want to show with this button. I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna say alien, or actually my special whatever. Let's say alien, all right? And let's change our button, our hero image to another sticker. What sticker do we wanna use? Keep calm, let's use this one. And <laughs> let's also say keep calm right here. So keep calm. Let's change our button to tab, keep calm, so you know what we're working with. And also let's change the label to keep calm. All right, so final step, connect our UI container to the UI tab. And we select the tab and, oh, we do not have a toggle group. We also need to connect that. So I'm gonna connect my UI container here and I'm going to connect my UI toggle group here. So it's part of the same menu, right? And that's it, you're done. <laughs> Let's enter play mode. And you will see that now we have our keep calm. I don't know why we don't have it. Where is it? Show, hide. Let's enter play mode again. Yeah, it didn't connect the first time. All right. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it's very easy to use. 
and you can add as many things you want you can uh, let's say i want keep count to be the second one i just reorder them like that and now it will be the second one there you go so it's pretty easy it's all already configured for you all right that's pretty much it for uh, this uh, video i hope you like it and see you in the next one